Willkommen! My name is Sean Huggins, I'm an American living in Germany, and on this channel, I'm looking to learn all about life in Germany and Europe in general through watching silly videos and stuff on the internet with you guys. So, if you enjoy, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day, and let's just hop straight into it. So today, we're taking a look at Germans pee differently than Americans? Random differences between Germany and America by Faley from Germany. So, let's see what these differences are apparently we pee differently i'm curious let's find out together what this is all about countries are different cultures are different but when it comes to basic needs like using the toilet we're all the same right yeah wrong oh Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube Hello. channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally Hi, from Felicia. Munich, Germany, but have been living München here in Cincinnati, Ohio, off and on since 2016. And on my channel, I talk mm. about differences between the US and Germany. So if you followed my cool. channel for a while, you know that my videos are usually a little longer and pretty in depth. Sometimes they just cover a single topic and sometimes they're lists. But for a while now, I've had this note on my phone with a bunch of yeah, I kind of call them random differences between the two countries mm -hmm, okay. that I couldn't really fit into a broader topic or into a list and that at first random sight also don't really seem to have a reasonable explanation as to why that's different in Germany and the US. So I've decided mm -hmm. to make a little series out of this Ooh. with videos that are a little shorter than usually and that are each dedicated to one of those topics. So today is the first one about peeing. We'll get to that in a second. And in the next few days, I'll be releasing one video, one topic every other day. So if you're not a subscriber Whoa. yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel for free. Then I activate did. the bell and also activate the notifications in your YouTube settings. And that way you won't have to. Bro. Oh, God. This doesn't have to do with the video, but do you remember the times on YouTube when you could just subscribe to somebody and then their videos would pop up for you? Then you had to subscribe and ring the bell for like years. It's been ring the bell. Don't forget to ring the bell. Absolutely slap the f out of that bell icon. Now you slap the f out of the bell icon and you have to go into your settings and turn on notifications. Dude, two years from now, it's going to be, hey, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and change your notifications. And don't forget to sign up for text message notifications and email updates. You can do it all for my 24 seven live stream webcam that I keep in my bedroom at all times. Dude, like enough is enough. Let me just subscribe to somebody and get their freaking videos, YouTube. Okay, anyways, let's just get into it. Worry Sorry. About missing Sorry about any that. Of my new videos. The topics of the <sighs> series will include Already all the riled mystery up. of jawlines, ice cream, oil changes on cars, how Americans and Germans handle having a cat, cookies and okay. pastries, uh -huh. and also male circumcision. So yeah, I think Random Differences is a good title for the series. It's indeed a very random list and it includes a few juicy topics. And of course, after this little series, you'll- Why has it gotta be juicy? I don't like that. Get the usual long in-depth videos again, but just because these are shorter videos also doesn't mean that I won't give you any background information. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's still me. So with that- You're still let's you, let's go girl. Ooh. So what do I mean when I say Germans pee differently than Americans? Well, because you're on the other side of the world, that means you pee upside down, right? Let's see. Well, I actually just found out about this a couple of months ago when some friends and I were hanging out at the place of a German couple I'm friends with here in Cincinnati, and they have a sign in their bathroom that says, please take a seat, which to me as a German seemed totally normal. I didn't even really notice it. But then one of my American okay. friends pointed out how German that is. And that's when I first learned that men in the US do not sit down when they pee. And yes, you heard right. This means that in Germany, what? it's pretty normal for men to sit down to pee. Hey, ich warn dich, wenn du vorhast, dir aufs Klo zu gehen, dann setz dich bei bloß hin. Ey. Now, there's more to the story, what? of course. Not but what about urinals? Germany has a lot of urinals. There's urinals all over the place in Germany. You can't sit down at a urinal, can you? Can you sit down? At, I don't think you're. I don't think. I don't think you can sit down at a urinal. Not every German man does this, and I'm sure there are some men in the US who do, but as a woman who doesn't really 
think about this topic ever, I was really surprised to find out that there was a cultural difference here. So I did really? some research and found out that in Germany, this is in fact a more recent development. So sitting down to pee for men has become more and more common over the past few decades. And obviously I'm not okay. a guy, but I do remember that even in kindergarten back in the 90s, the boys were taught that they're supposed to pee sitting down because that was considered like good manners while mm -hmm. standing urination okay. was yeah almost like the rebellious way so this is talking about just toilets just in the toilet no urinal gotcha moving on of course those were kids and i'm sure american daycares don't want little boys to pee all over the place either when they're standing but yeah. even later yeah, we when don't, growing we don't up like you would see those signs in public bathrooms or at people's places to tell men to sit down so mm -hmm. it's definitely a thing in Germany, and if a man does sit down to pee, it's associated with good manners and showing respect. Does that mean German men never okay. pee standing up? Does it? Surely it does. Definitely. 100% of all German men pee sitting down 100% of the time. Right, Felicia? Nope, absolutely oh, not. Dang Obviously, it, I was standing so close. is just way more convenient in a lot of situations, and a lot of men just prefer that over sitting down. And yes, of course, mm -hmm. you will find urinals in public bathrooms. In I Germany, knew it! Just like you do in the US. Yeah. Now, when it comes to numbers, though, I did find a statistic, and this actually surprised me. Survey. Because it said okay. that only 50% of German men prefer standing urination. Whoa, only 50%. So half prefer standing, half prefer sitting. I would say that's actually quite a large amount. I would have expected it to be the majority, to be honest. And about 67% even said that they always sit down when they're at home. And the topic oh, even made it into the worldwide news in 2015, uh, when a German landlord in Dusseldorf demanded a payment of about 2,000 euros from her tenant because he had allegedly damaged the marble floor with urine because of his peeing habits. The court huh? ruled Bro, if you're damaging marble with your urine, what is your diet like, dude? Hello? Bro, there's marble statues and buildings that are thousands of years old. How do you damage marble floors with pee? Huh? In favor of the tenant though, and said that he was indeed allowed to pee standing up because it's still a common practice. Of now, course, from yeah. what I found out, this whole debate about standing versus sitting started in the 1970s and 80s in Germany during the women's movement, in West Germany to be precise, and that's when you okay. start seeing these stickers on toilet seats. Every Let's see. Yeah, we got a little pee pee caca here going on and you got some splashing going on and then you put the pee pee caca on the front side and then there's no splashing. That makes sense. That's just good clean math right Everywhere. there. And as I said, since then, sitting down to pee for men has become more and more common in Germany and in other European countries as well. But okay. apparently this wasn't and isn't really a thing in the US. And mm -hmm. I have to say, mm -hmm. logically, this doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. Standing urination is just as messy in the two cultures. And if about 50% of German men actually prefer to pee sitting down, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. why don't American men do it? Or maybe my American friends were wrong when they told me that it wasn't really a thing in the US. I have to say it's a little mysterious to me, so please help me out and let me know about your experiences in the comments below. Okay. If you're American, okay. I am has American. this topic ever even come up? No. Were you ever taught to pee sitting down? No. Do you guys talk to your kids about it? No. And if you're German, what's your experience with this? Did I you grow up upside with the down. that standing urination is bad behavior? I stand up upside down and I pee upside else, down. What is it like in your country? Let me know. Before I wrap this up, I should probably mention that even though peeing sitting down is a totally accepted and encouraged thing in Germany, the myth no. that it's not very manly that a lot of people mention in this context does exist in Germany as well. And we Ooh. even have an insult that's based on this. Calling a man a... Uh, oh, dude, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh, zitz, uh, zitz pickler. Zitz, zitz, zitz pickler. Zitzpinkler. Ah, yes, I remembered. Weir, 
pretty much means that he's a wimp Zitzpickler. Not a man, <laughs> which is ridiculous. On That's my rap name, Zitzpickler. Young Zitzpickler. So many levels. I hope we can all agree on this. Wow. Okay, this is fascinating to me. And as the resident American, I have to say a couple of things about this. Number one, sitting down in a public toilet that is already dirty, not ideal. So oftentimes it's more convenient for me to just pee standing up because I don't want my booty cheeks all over that dirty seat. Number two, when it comes to peeing at home, it depends on how tired I am. I wake up at four in the morning every day, obviously tired. I go in, sit on the toilet, and whatever happens, happens. That's just how I roll. But I also don't really think about it. If I'm going pee some other time, then I might stand up to pee. It doesn't really matter to me. However, I definitely understand the argument that is more courteous for other people after you, especially women. So maybe I'll reconsider into converting myself into a 100% zits pickler. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you a zits pickler? Do you think this is all baloney? Are you a little bit half and half? I'm curious. We're going to do our own survey right here under this video in the comments section. We're going to see what percentage of people are sits picklers, what percentage of people are standing picklers, and what percentage of people are half-half picklers. Whew. Okay, anyways, that's all the time I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. We got new videos every single day. Thank you guys so much for being here, and as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.